Hey there and greetings and welcome. This is Tevo DRC from Tevo Creative Ministries and Leadership Training. We're going to have our offices out in Fort Mill and then we have other meetings, gatherings when the Lord needs us and wants out in Charlotte region and online. And this is Divine Appointment Ministry to leaders and Christians that have serious calls for the Lord by Divine Appointment No Members. So we're going to be teaching, you know, I want have these pictures here represent our transition slowly to a better production, but a new day gotten out of the old, really shocking, quite shocking ministry learning curve of dysfunction in the Deep South. And so with the Deep South being popular and people reading our mind of the stranger and all sorts of things that were not good, not into collaboration, but in private turf owning all the warfare of just trying to fellowship trying to go to church that we're trying we pulled out we're trying to warn people and correct people because it is a new day it should be the sweet smelling savor of the savior the transformed community mecca and micro non-popular and popular black white brown few or many that is pauline first church mutual submission in the fear of the lord correct doctrine relationship respect not an ego, not a fault-finding bastion of God's promises or our power, our gifting, like is out there, but a real celebrating of the Lord, His beauty, focusing on Him, the first church doctrine, carrying the cross, long-suffering, getting over it. And then like Paul, who mentions key verses, Ephesians 5.21, mutual submission in the fear of the Lord, which I looked up and confirmed on chat GPTAI as first church servant leader. Everybody from the apostles, even the ones in the gates of the city, the ones down in the micro, as well as the lay elders and marriages wedded marriages all right mutual submission in the fear of the lord first of all you got to figure and teach that and you think what is the fear of the lord do they understand is or, is anyone got it and that makes a difference on both sides of every relationship rich and poor this is about the lord taking up the cross uh long suffering you need to renew your mind some of you maybe a lot of you the portrait of the christ we've seen since the tv media area the 80s on especially with celebrity and also the teaching as a picture of christ as the celebratory king solomon owning all this stuff having position power and magna the biggest you can get worldwide famous nothing or wrong if you're called to that we prefer it be called toned down to renown which is bible not celebrity but then you have other portraits that are fragrant and telling such as the Ephesians for first church community, walking it out in meekness and lowliness and long suffering, endeavoring to keep the bonds of peace together, knowing their common doctrine. Jesus is Lord. The Christian faith is, you know, all these things there. And then a transformed community, which affects society, men and women. These things are clueless and they are not taught because people have their boundaries up. I was talking to somebody this morning, a men's fellowship, <laughs> men that I you know, know and are Christian ministers, and they were saying how there's a difference between having a, uh, when you have a church, a collective group that represents Christ in ministry, there's a difference between having a, a representation which is more like reaching out and going for the um, presenting Christ and all the basics and having a wall up putting a wall up of self-protection, a bastion of self, of fault-finding and a lack of love, more about concerned us against them. I've met it that. Some of it I've called through the years since the 90s when I started to discover it, prophetic paranoia. We are the world, the chosen world, but it's paranoid. It needs more might. It needs more Holy Spirit. Let me tell you the two verses it could help. All right, two portraits that are not port, you know, not popular because they don't bring in money. Two portraits which are key for the prophet, the office of the apostle, the mega and the micro person in ministry. All right, leadership is Isaiah 53, the long foreseen Messiah who would come not beautiful, not attractive, suffering for our sake. He took, he would be despised 
by all people. And it says even a curious thing in Isaiah 53, verse about 10 chapter, 10 uh, verses. It says, he is still despised. And you know what? That's right. People, even God's people still despise him. For they know not who he really is or was or will be. The other portrait is for today, right now, the Isaiah 11, 2 and 3 portrait of the prophet, the coming Messiah in Isaiah 11, 2 and 3 that says he would come with all of God's seven spirits. That's the book of Acts inside a little baby, you know, a little capsule, but without an ego. All right. So he'd come with all of God's seven spirits as a secret embed, a stealth minister for right when the time was right. He would have the spirit of the Lord. He'd have the counsel, spirit of counsel and might and power and understanding and fear of the Lord, etc. And it said that verse needs to be taught because if people don't really want to go toward the speaking in tongues, book of Acts chapter two experience, which I believe in, that is their choice. So we want you to have more might. Everybody needs more might, power, wisdom, understanding, freely given by grace, a gift and holy fear of the Lord. It said in verse 2, the seven spirits of God, train that please, and then it says that all that power imbued in the Savior, our Savior, our not anxious Savior, no fear in him, it said that it would make, he would delight himself, Christ would delight himself in the fear of the Lord. It would make him sharp of discernment. That means he delighted having a fear of the Lord and enjoying that reverential respect in the fear of the Lord for eternity's sake and all of God's seven it said it would make him sharp in discernment yet but he would not the Messiah would not judge accuse or judge with the sight of his eyes nor make decisions based on what he heard so he was a different kind he was a prototype but he wasn't an ego but he also had personal self-government wrapped up in there that when he uh, wanted it to come out in the New Testament, you know, laying hands on people, praying and casting out devils, it did. But he would just be the normal person. Jesus laughed. He had a merry heart. He had joy in Hebrews 1, 9, the oil of joy and gladness above his fellows. So there are a lot of portraits of the Christ. Those are three, really, Hebrews 1, 9, joy, Isaiah 11, 2 and 3, the power without being a gossip, without being a ministry tale bearer, fault finder, believing the evil report, a trustworthy Messiah that you can trust not to bite your back, not to pray against you like is going on in the witchcraft type realm of prophecy, that kind of psycho prophet. All right. So we teach proper whole counsel. And then we realize we're all human. The only perfect, not me, the only perfect 250% prophet, teacher, pastor, apostle, minister, believer, was Christ. The only one perfect in every way. Teaching, approach, methodology, tone, as well as character, lifestyle on and off the stage, and real respect. So there are many things to talk about to teach a future church with. We're putting out some. This is a teacher's teacher type training. You can pick my brain. Theology of meetings that are divine appointment. Ask questions. I consult. Um, I deal with, you know, really the worst thing for me is persons who will read my mind. Christians that say they're Christians and never speak. And then <laughs> gossip. It is so horrible. It is false advertising. It is accuser and unjust. God will bring that to judgment if they don't change. On the other hand, we're all, by the grace of God, go we all, include myself. So I'm holding out at the very last what we believe here at Cross Bud Union, what I fully believe for anybody in any direction, Isaiah 11, excuse me, Isaiah 118, where it says, everybody train this, or, you know, let it out. Come, the national come, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, he will wash them white as snow. The relationship, come, don't just sit over there and gossip and suspect and read their minds or mine. Don't over there and Bible thump, get on your TMZ tabloid video and expose. Don't just believe the evil report and jump people because you heard about them or you read them the wrong way. That is out there. That's why I teach this way. Let's be beautiful again. Let's make Jesus Christ's house safe again, not dysfunction 
And this is why we're on the <laughs> making it big, but we're not naming their names and we forgive them. The issue is this is not my.